ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಕೆ ಜೆ ರಾಘವೇಂದ್ರ ರಾವ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಕೀ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಟು ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಧನಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಫೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ಐ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದ ಥೀಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಡೇಷನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಅಗ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಸಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಅಗೋ ಯು ನೋ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಸಸ್ಟನೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟು ಮೌತ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ simply people used to produce and they did not even know how to cook okay that's how we uh, evolved from the stone age to the metal age to the technological age to the value addition age and supply chain and value chain see now very quickly we'll go this is about uh, myself all those things have been already told yeah see now the dotted lines are all the potentials where we can integrate the uh, value chain we already have some uh the full lines which are all the value chain see now the export markets are linked with the wholesale the domestic market is also linked with the wholesale the institutional customers are also linked to the wholesale but ultimately the customers are not in the final product traders are again not linked here see niche markets see, for example there is a dragon fruit market there is a high value processed uh, cashew market or you know in the cities you have got the middle class you have got the high class see today you have got the software engineers so everybody is a different niche market where the vegetables also have to be uh, cut into smaller pieces and made into 250 grams because nobody consumes more than 250 grams of any vegetable so the even assorted vegetables are also a part of the value chain maybe you know a little bit of beans some cabbage and some you know cauliflower and then we also have the peas so like that they are packed you know there is a app called blinkit my wife regularly gets it from there you name it you can get it see nowadays who is going to prepare the idli vada and dosa batter see all those things are gone if you want to eat dosa you bring the batter okay and already the dates are already mentioned uh, how many days old batter it is whether it is very this one so all sort of value added products have virtually they have flooded the market and look at this uh, the large scale processors and aggregators have to be again linked with the small scale processors see here this is where today's topic gains lot of importance see now all my farmer producer organizations the fpos are more than around 10000 in number so maybe each one is a cbbo that means a cluster based business organization somebody is dealing with mango somebody is dealing with fortified bajra i told you that i had uh, i did some experimentation with some fpos where you know this harvest plus came out with um, mh1000 a highly fortified uh, bajra with iron content so it it claims that it has more than 95 ppm of iron as compared to the 45 ppm of iron in the normal bajra so now all this uh, highly fortified uh, crops are going to be used for the anemic uh, okay pregnant women and the lactating mothers and so on and so forth who normally suffer from this sort of iron deficiency so these are all going to become my niche market that's what i've been showing you in this dotted line and obviously the primary producers are linked with the small scale processors maybe at a village level taluk level and lot of intermediaries that are also uh, been linked this is the existing one See, but now our research question the potential for the value chain how it can increase income is why not the farmer producer organization eliminate these intermediaries why not the farmer add a little bit of skill for himself and also get and going to this sort of a structure the where the potential exists right from the wholesale market the large scale processors to the export markets why the farmers themselves who are the basic stakeholders can't do it this is the million dollar question we'll be answering subsequently see now when i write a market map look at all this you know uh, the people see there are a lot of uh, enabling environment of the government uh, today we have the atmanirbhar scheme the midh okay we have the agri infrastructure fund then the matsya sampada yojana lot of money has been pumped in the ecosystem is also in place 
So the consumer trends, for example, if you go to the city, they demand four or five clubs. What do they demand? In a city like Bangalore, they demand broccoli, they demand English cucumber, they demand capsicum, they demand peas, they demand paneer. So all these four or five clubs, which I told many of my students have worked, so it has got demand for all the 365. Now the seasonality in horticulture and agriculture is removed because you can't wait for a Kharif, Rabi or summer. Okay, and all these small scale processors, okay, and the primary producers, they're all linked with the final product traders. And look at all these extension services coming. It may be a mobile app, it may be Blinkit, it may be Swiggy, Zomata, okay, it may be Big Basket. So all these people are also helping the enabling environment and they are trying to capture the domestic market, okay, the export market, and this sort of integration is going on. So there are a plethora of the business and extension services, whether you call them intermediaries or you call them as enablers, but the value chain things are all happening. So now what we, uh, we tell the people is, why not the farmers or why not the small scale producers through the FPO, CBBOs, why don't they aggregate and also do this sort of role? See, after all, you know, to do a little value addition, to establish a value chain, you don't require a very high Caltech MBA or you don't require a MBA from Harvard. So I'm telling you, once when the full market map is done, okay, we wish that the farmers are going to add value and then, you know, the value uh, add addition can come, either you create a value in terms of the innovation or a product or an industrial innovation and you capture the value maybe by place, time and the price, okay, the four piece of what Kotler said through coordination. So these are the two ways where you can do it. See, why do you totally be, why the farmer should be only a producer? Why can't he be an aggregator? Why can't he be a value adder? Why can't he be a handler? Why can't he do some minimum <coughs> processing and also become the part of the value chain because he's going to get more income. We'll just quickly go ahead. See now, today a lot of nutrition sensitive value chains have also come. See, I told you this fortified Badra experiment where I worked with five FPOs. I aggregated about 500 farmers and asked them to grow. And then also we had a market linkage. We got it sold at about 3,500 rupees per uh, quintal, I mean ton. Okay, that was somewhere in Allahabad market and the experiment was taking place in the coupled market. So this is how these nutrition sensitive value chains can also add value, you can get more money and all that. See, let me tell you one thing, uh, gentlemen. There's a very famous saying in Sanskrit, Udhyamenavahi siddhyanti karyani cha manoratahi nahi suptasya simhasya pravishanti mukhe murgaha. That means, see, if a lion is simply sitting there like a farmer, and asking that, you know, I should get more income. It is not that the deer or any animal will come to the lion and say, kindly eat me. The lion has to go and hunt. It has to scam the environment. Okay, it has to hunt for its opportunities. So today it is scouting the opportunities, whether it is the external environment or it is an upgrading, okay, linkage and flows on, how the food consumption patterns are changing and whether the primary supply is also going to target the export market whether the rural or the urban. So if you simply sit in a single place, the opportunities for tapping this value addition will be taken by some of the secondary and the tertiary aggregators and they will make money. And this is one of the big lacunas where people have been saying, see all the middlemen takes. Why do you blame the middlemen? Who asked you not to take? Today there are a plethora of institutions who can train you, who can you know empower you with skills, and there is an ecosystem in place like the Agri Infrastructure Fund. We have the uh, Matsya Sampada Yojana. We have the Dairy Infrastructure Fund. <coughs> After all, to make ghee or butter, you don't require very high dairy technology and you don't require a PhD from NDRA to do it. See, suppose, you know, you are a small livestock owner. You have some goats and sheep. Even some primary processing, you know, you people depend. You think simply you are a shepherd and then you will take some sheep and goat here and there and you'll leave it. So that sort of value addition, uh, you will not be able to make money. Then how to create a value? This is what we've been telling. See now, you see how in the dairy products you've got mayonnaise, you've got cheese, you've got cheddar cheese, you've got ice creams, you've got probiotic juices, probiotic, Yakult also we drink. So lot of 
uh, you know value added innovative new products have flooded the market then you know, it also enhances the product's characteristics okay you take mayonnaise you take uh, garlic mayonnaise you take another mayonnaise you take a jain food see today all the segmentation targeting and positioning they are all enhancing the services they have got their own brand sit uh, come and take the amul ice cream oh my god see where is amul factory where are the supply chain how do they aggregate how do they procure they are all history which i don't want to go then obviously developing some unique customer experience if i had to eat a kulfi long back when i was in school i had to wait for that uh, that ice cream uh, dabba was fellow who comes in the cart in front of the school but today you can order them online and because the products are available the value added products are available even if you pay one or two rupees more for the online doesn't matter so who will take the trouble of getting up taking your vehicle and going and bringing it so even in online marketing swiggy zomato big basket and blinkit and so on and so forth they are also creating value value through the value chain and the supply chain or the amul as a producer is creating the value through value added uh, segmented and, and differentiated products so this is how so therefore today nobody will say one product you will eat you will eat only rice and dal for the rest of the day come on in a city i think my generation had very less offers whereas the present day generation have got lot of value added products in their plate see you don't eat even a raw banana it's all made into milk shake and given to the children in the morning okay you have mayonnaise you have got uh, at least a juice over there so okay you know these things were all not just luxury it's not that my father didn't have money or your father didn't have money but actually these sort of products were not available all that i was eating when i was a young guy was you know i used to eat some ground nuts and you know all my big juice i don't have any pepsi and all that i used to prepare some lemon juice and drink it so today's people oh my god there is a cold coffee my daughter orders cold coffee there is a kulfi ice cream you know what is it uh, there was another onion rings were there smileys were there oh my god yesterday she was eating so many things so this is how we create value then capturing value how to capture a value how a farmer or an entrepreneur or any other stakeholder is going to capture the value say either you do direct marketing or you do vertical integration again vertical integration are of two types you have a forward integration you have a backward integration forward integration means i am a mango producer i will also start producing mango juice okay then for example i am a i am a mcdonald person i make burgers i may, i may start producing wheat and dairy mayonnaise and cheese which are required that is backward integration either you go forward or you do backward so now producer all in the same now let us say i am i am from uh, mcdonald's i create burgers okay but i require even that uh, small smileys which comes from mccain so they you know the mccain company and the mcdonald's company have got producer alliances then cooperative efforts all the cbb was i told you the cluster based business organization all the grape growers have come together and all the wineries have come together and you got so many bio fortified wines with different flavors and enriched flavors wine also so therefore what i wish to say is the producer the aggregator the value adder and the consumer we can't really differentiate in the value chain although the roles may be different but it can be captured by a single person provided he does those multiple roles so that's how then direct marketing we have already told you then obviously we have vertical integration i told you that how you know mcdonalds and uh, the other mccain have already told you producer alliance have already told you the cooperative efforts you take our nandini diary you take our dodla diary you know how they are all integrated and all that now how to add value see for example if i if i give you wheat flour and if i give you bread and bake it into cake there are three different forms of the same wheat so it gets value and as you know today we have come out even with the eggless cake see when we were young you know we were not allowed to eat the cake because it has eggs in it and today we have got lot of uh, eggless cakes they also come in your different flavors like black forest white forest uh, plum cakes and so on you name it you have it 
Then location value, I was already telling, see suppose you know the Kesar Alfonso mango is sold at 300 rupees a kilo, not the just Alfonso, I'm just telling you. But in Bangalore when it is sold at 300, you, you just go 250 kilometers from here, there's a place called Koppal which also grows our Alfonso, Kesar mangoes, it's only 100 rupees. So how this location value of 200 rupees is getting added, it is also a part of the value chain. So therefore, why not the producers who are 300 kilometers away establish a shop or through internet or online or mobile marketing, capture all this, aggregate the demand and then supply it in one single shot because everybody knows that the keeping quality of mangoes cannot extend about 15 to 20 days. Similarly, the time value. See, for example, we know that, you know, all this still and, uh, you know, this gajak what you prepare, they all come under the Kharif season. But the till is consumed in the Rabi season. It's consumed somewhere in Sankranti. We say Sankranti Yellu. So now the time value of a particular product, even though it is grown in Kharif, okay, the value comes only when, during the Sankranti season. It may be Karambu or it may be whatever your sugar cane, okay, jaggery and all those things. So there is a time value you can add. Ownership or possession value, then information value. See, suppose if I get an information value of a market, how much is going to be the price, I can tap those market. Then suppose, you know, if you are in possession or a ownership of a particular product, especially sheep, goat, and animal husbandry, okay, when uh, the time comes, you can sell it for a higher rate. So this is called the possession value. We'll go one by one. In the farm, I've already told you, if you do bread, wheat, flour, they are simply by converting wheat into atta, it is a farm value. What is so great in converting a wheat into wheat flour? This is what that, uh, okay, so Ashirvad atta fellow does with 5 kilos. Cleaning, grading, sorting, cooling, and then making a powder and doing it. Adding value to location, obviously door-to-door -door delivery, you go order something in Swiggy, you have to pay 100 rupees more. If you go near the shop, I can get a smiley, five smileys for 65 rupees. If I order it home, the same smileys become 100 rupees. So 35 rupees is the value added by the uh, Swiggy Zometo, well, mail order, convenience stores. For example, you know, I stay in a flat, so there is a D-Mart which has come on the basement of my flat. So very convenient. Even in the night, we will be buying ice creams and eating it. Then truck stop, fast foods. You know, you got many of these foods you can find on the roads today in Bangalore, whether it's Donne Biryani or fresh to do food. Then even various internet sites. Now, now the mango season and the grape season has started. People are uh, booking here and there. So this is called adding value to location. Now adding value to time. See, for example, you require so many good foods uh, during Ugadi, Sankranti, Deepavali, come, you know, all the things. Then, you know, Janmashtami comes in between when you have the Pakshamasam coming in the Ashvija, Bhadrapada Mas. Kartik Mas, there's a demand for a lot of oil, lights, and many other different foods. So you can, using the seasonality of many of these foods and uh, many of these agri products, okay, you can store, schedule, transport process, you know, Throughout the year, you can keep yourself busy. So therefore, today, adding value by time. So is also a very important phenomenon. See, for example, a breakfast, I'll tell you simple uh, one day time. See, always a breakfast is eaten in the morning. People would like to prefer idli and vada in the morning. Nobody will eat idli and vada in the afternoon. Afternoon, everybody requires some limited amount of rice or dal, chapati, whatever, in the north. Evening, again, See, evening, nobody will eat all this uh, rice, bisbele bath, and all that. So, therefore, some items have a time value in the morning. Some are having a breakfast value before 9 o'clock. Some are having a snacks value. See, nobody eats snacks in the morning. See, evening, 6 o'clock, everybody would like to have some, you know, twist at all or some um, smileys. No, and then uh, some pani puri and chats. I have not seen anybody eating pani puri and chat in the early morning. Okay, whereas, for example, masala dosa can be eaten anytime. But preferably, they are all breakfast items. So, adding value of time is what to prepare when and when exactly you want to do it. Whether it's a day. See, suppose in Deepavali or Diwali, you will have to, there's a heavy demand for sweets. 
See, all the sweet boxes are over. I go to the sweet shop. Okay, especially those Bengali items which come at 11 o'clock in the morning. That's called the time value of the particular commodity. Because all these milk products have to be consumed within one hour or two hours or maximum one day. So therefore, Bengali sweets are never stored, whereas kaju barfi can be stored for two or three days. So this is how adding value and time and all the milk products, buttermilk, dairy products, they have a shelf life. There's an expiry date. After the expiry date, okay, it loses its value. And, you know, if you go to the supermarket, all this buy one, get one, why are they doing it? Mysore Park, it is again a milk-based product. It has a limited shelf life. After the expiry date, they start offering buy one, get one, free. So, therefore, these are all uh, some of the issues. Then, you know, especially insurance hedging, I told you who has the ownership. See, suppose letters of credit are given, the first bank actually mortgages some of your product or, you know, lease agreements are made. Okay, many of your farms are not yours or you have taken a temporary loan from a MasterCard or futures market. You know, they give you a small chit. When you go to the future market, okay, and when you dump your material, let us say in a warehouse or something, they will give you a letter of credit. You can go to any bank and encash that letter of credit and get up to 75% finance on your particular product. You put 100 rupees of the material, get 75 rupees. So this is how we add values because everybody is hard pressed for cash. See, a money which is not given in time has no value at all. So therefore, credit cards or letter of credit or, you know, hedging certificate, mortgage certificates, harvesting contracts, they're also some sort of value. Then information value, okay, Obviously, you know, most of these organic products are all certified products. Uh, PETA is the certifying agency. We have Center of Sustainable Agriculture, where my friend Dr. Raman Zanelu is the director. And then most of these go in faith and certification. So information also should be available. Uh, when it was packed, what is the batch number? How many days is the shelf life? All those issues also add value. It is to inform and educate, persuading, and then also, uh, you know, does some job in the advertising, promotion, packing, and so on. So, whether, see, now again, although this looks good on the theoretical friend, I am asking you whether it is, is it so difficult that a farmer producer organization cannot do these jobs? Or are even the old woman sitting at the home, your great-grandmother is able to access a 5G mobile. Don't tell me that, do you require a PhD and it's rocket science for you to access a big mobile. I don't think like that. See, getting formal degrees and, you know, becoming an expert, all those things are different. To operate a small mobile phone, access an internet. So today, you know, your WhatsApp is accessed by almost everybody. Even sitting at home, you know, nowadays nobody listens to the people who are very expert. They say, please keep quiet. What you are telling is also available on the internet. Already it has, it has become viral in the WhatsApp. So the information also adds value. People will ask your information only if you are telling something what is not there in WhatsApp. If you are telling the same old bullshit what is there already in the WhatsApp or in the internet. See, if you Google it, you can virtually get the cinema ticket to anything. Why, why should people come with you for information? Do you have the market information that uh, 20 kilometers from here, uh, you know, the price uh, difference is 10 rupees. I will put the, my produce there. These are all very critical and crucial information. Then um, we have so many R&D organizations who help in all this uh, processing, handling, storage, you know, packing. And you see, some of them are CFTRA Mysore, which uh, prepares all the uh, food processing things. And then we are similarly in Mysore, we have the DFRL, the Defense Food Research Labs, who, who give value-added products for our defense people, the soldiers, uh, it may be a fortified chicky or it is a very high high protein, uh, some uh, protein balls and things like that. So we have got ultimate number of institute. So everywhere, handling, storage, processing, RTS ready to serve juice, jams, jellies, pickling. And, you know, we have already this uh, osmotically dehydrated products uh, where just with uh, recombinant with uh, water, again, it can get the shape. Okay, this is how it's done. See, even, you know, I was very wonderstruck. Recently, I purchased this, you know, 
we call it as mor kulamb in uh, tamil or we say majge uli in uh, kannada there is a majge uli mix powder i got the shock of my life because i eat this uh, mor kulamb normally eaten by brahmins so to prepare mor kulamb we have to depend on our grandmother but today you take that mor kulamb mix is available simply put it in water for 5 minutes okay and then uh, you know give some uh, tadka for it bas you are uh, Okay, put some uh, you know cucumbers or uh, what is it ash gourd, and then your more kolumbo is made. See, you don't need to you know call your grandma. Of course, see, let the grandmothers come and add value. See, you know, once upon a time when I had to eat this um, puran poli, you know this uh, whole cake. You know, I was waiting. I hope when my grandmother will come, and you know we had to go to school. My grandmother's house was about hundred kilometers far. So every time I will tell my father, "Appa, take me to grandmother's house." He said, "Why do you want to see? Very recently I have seen her grand." He said, "Pa, I want to eat holge." See, today you want to have holge, you got holge money. You know there are so many such produce products, value-added products. See, and you know, you know, even this uh, Congress kalyakai. I am a very great fan of that. So it is a value-added product. It comes in two flavors. Either you know they will give this uh, garlic. Uh, tadka to it or they will give the asafoetida uh, tadka normally asafoetida uh, tadka is not eaten by other people only the brahmin fellows eat this uh, asafoetida others most of them eat garlic so this is called as a niche market what i'm saying is you go to triplicane you go to mambalam you go to adiyar and you know you will get those products which are used by the consumers there let them be of any community and that's not our thing you come to another area which is predominantly having a different customers so you will have to produce and market a product for that so therefore these are all some value addition opportunities where you can make more money see if you start selling the other products here suppose you know in a predominantly fish area all the fish recipes are going to come see now some of the visible benefits here this table is more than enough i could have even stopped my lecture here see fruits and vegetables simply by cleaning grading and sorting 25% of additional income is going to come similarly vegetable drying preservation 30% see because you don't have off season vegetables see for example you want avrekai see avrekai means all the uh, field bean okay field bean normally comes in rabi season now ihr has come out with all season field beans you don't need to wait for rabi season See, come on. See, now wheat is grown in the rabi season, but are you not eating wheat throughout the year? So, like that, you convert into atta, you convert into rava, whatever you want to do. Spices, just by milling. See, are you suppose you are having nutmeg, asafoetida, you have so many other things. Recently, I conducted one uh, value addition opportunities for the entrepreneurs for spice cultivation and preserving. Simply by processing the elaichi you know we have the green elaichi you have the white elaichi okay you can have a cardamom oil by fractional distillation so many methods are there what you eat elaichi may not be that much uh, nice smelling elaichi because already people have extracted the essential oil lot of money is there so maize also de-husking and shelling 12.5% simple cleaning and storage will add value up to 25% income paddy also cleaning and grading 17 Store is suppose when you buy rice, you go to the, you buy that kernel sona masuri rice. So people will ask, can you give me six months old, one year old, two year old, older the rice, more, uh, you know, uh, it 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 becomes very very, uh, you know, it becomes puffy and that sort of thing. It won't become pasty because all those uh, carbohydrates get uh, collated and that sort of it is. Pulses simply are they are instead of preparing. red gram dal dal milling machine is it such a difficult value addition here don't tell me that simple in pulses suppose i am taking the example of kajanas kajan okay red gram simply by dehusking splitting and besan making especially bengal gram which comes in the rabi season today will you prepare a besan okay everybody eats besan let do besan for all bonda bhaji you require besan simply by doing besan making 20% almost 18.5% is value income added now 
in case of oil seeds throughout bangalore you are seeing see earlier uh, we had that uh, different oil now they say under the wooden uh, extraction okay we will uh, give you fresh wooden oil that is a bit costly it's about 300 rupees a liter normal oil you will get about 150 180 okay people say we don't want all this chemically processed uh, fractional distilled uh, oil we would like to go for gana or uh, the uh, de oiling uh, mean oil making machine is there uh, earlier it used to be bullock operated now we have got machine operated it's all wooden uh, implements you can add value even up to 20% so now the value chain see the input sector the production sector and processing sector so this is an agri business system where most of the value addition is also occurring on all the three fronts so suppose you want to do organic you should you know manipulate the input sector so you should have only organic input for example ihr has come out with this uh, arca microbial consortium on the back you are seeing behind me all those boxes they are all arca sasya poshak a and b totally organic products where 5 ml of that uh, uh, that suspension is mixed in water and it spread so that's how they get the nutrient so even in the input sector the value is added in the production sector obviously the agronomic practice or uh, you don't apply any fertilizers to the land so that's how the value is created and obviously in the processing manufacturing packing branding retailing and then pushing it to the customers also adds the value and there is a lot of money in these things see believe it or not don't think agriculture is simply throwing some seeds and going away see if you think that you know it's just like you know earlier days people you know those who are highly having good education iit phd ias officers or scientists like me people who hey, it is so difficult he must be a god's child he has become a scientist he is an ias officer i say come on even if you do it strategically you also can become there is nothing uh, you know there is nothing a big horn or uh, anybody's head so it depends on how the agri business system is going to create value add value tap value capture value and adds to the income so there are so many uh, agri business opportunities we have already told you where value can be added especially you know i am not i am touching important nutritional application totally organic uh, formulations have come i have already told you about arca microbial consortia the sasya poshak a and b just uh, behind me you see those boxes i have kept it for my rkb way project we are developing an arca nutri garden uh, to augment the mid day meal scheme in the various schools of karnataka so where um, uh, per day for 300 children uh, in a school 150 boys 150 girls we require about 45 kilos of vegetables uh, highly you know we have a uh, uh, vitamin enriched for example ihr has come out of the mushroom which is vitamin d enriched you must not even have heard about it so today we have got fortified projects uh, products okay everywhere it's either a vitamin enrichment or it is a mineral enrichment so it is all going towards the balanced diet then you know obviously crop protection so a lot of pest pesticides are used nobody is going to buy it so storage also there are so many pests and diseases transportation there should be a cold chain to preserve and capture the value equipment services somebody on the input front okay biological control things marketing packaging and transportation so what i wish to say is today let me repeat this uh, thing in my lecture today many of these key opportunities are done by different people i repeat again see now there is an aggregator there is a value capturer there is a processor is different okay the fellow who prepares the sweet is different these are all but what i wish to say is see a person who does fishing can't he know how to prepare a fish a fish recipe he will know probably he and she has not uh, uh, been uh, convinced or they have not taken up the profession it is something like this if your father is a professor in iit at least you will know when the iit entrance exam je is going to come when are you going to write the gate exam and the cat exam at least as a professor son you should be knowing this similarly if you are a farmer you already know about the product adding value will not take much of your skill 
if you are a cinema star son the value addition and the value chain already you know who is the distributor who is the producer okay and uh, how you can get roles see most of the present day uh, film stars and all that <clears throat> okay they are all uh, the children of cinema stars so what i wish to say here is one minute okay where did my thing go okay so where kaha chala something else has come one minute okay where is my screen okay one minute one minute <coughs> so that is how it goes and uh, preparing fruit jam jelly you don't these are all not rocket science you simply you know this uh, <coughs> groundnut butter man what is so great in doing this can't we do it at home i don't know semi processed products preparing ready to serve juice see banana juice has still been a researchable friend because it becomes black in color people are trying how to reduce that uh, reaction which occurs okay then um, uh, we can also go to dehydrated vegetables and spices especially nutmeg saffron see suppose you are a saffron producer in kashmir will you not know how to preserve saffron and establish a value chain in saffron where to push it nutmeg for example beverage are ready to serve juice you know there is a lot of demand for dragon fruit juice tomato juice all those things are they carried today you got umpteen number of Juice, but people want you know bale juice. I have drank. You know this uh, bale. Bale is nothing but uh, eagle marmalos. What we use it in the Shivaratri day. Anyway, Shivaratri is coming next week, so you can have a lot of bale. Even this Ferrani elephanta. Now that's called the wood apple. Oh my God, wood apple juice is a very beautiful, tasty juice. Only thing is, you know, I have to do a little bit of processing, and if you can preserve it even at least for one month, just with uh, normal sugar. In fact, you know, even at home, I was uh, asking my wife. She had got a lot of wood apple, and she is now unable to process it. She said, "Hey, this is all drudgery. You do it tomorrow and after. Tomorrow is Shivratri, and then you know." She said, "You do it. I don't have time." So therefore, when a housewife does not have time, these value-added products are going to be very good. See, all this tropicana and other fruit juices, what you buy is at twenty rupees for two hundred ml. my goodness you give me that 20 rupees i will buy half a kilo of sugar and give you half a bucket of uh, <laughs> a bale and uh, wood apple juice tomorrow anyway tomorrow is shivratri i wish you all happy shivratri fellows so you call me i will tell you how to prepare this juice so now we will go to the next uh, pre packing see whether it is grape or onion or anything there is no packing at all see today you come to blink it everything is neatly packed in Two uh, fifty grams because an average uh, household or a house with uh, husband, wife, and two children, four people will consume at least about two hundred and fifty to three hundred grams. So pre-packaging, not only polythene bag. Now we got this. Uh, uh, you know, I I was seeing this bag. This is actually done in Tamil Nadu. I did have one thing. See, they are they are preparing these biodegradable bags in maize flour. There's an entrepreneur somewhere near Chennai. I think Dhan Dhan Lakshmi can note it. I'll give the address later. No need of plastic bags. Beautifully packed with perforations. All your maize flour can be converted to beautiful uh, biodegradable uh, bags, where the shelf life is two times to more and fresh and attractive. Then osmotically air dried fruits. If you do air drying, if you do anaerobic drying, you will have different color flavor. Especially pineapple jackfruit. Just uh, wet it. Okay, so this is how uh, these are all value-added products. Waxing of fruit and vegetables. Of course, see now in Bangalore we don't use many of these things because Bangalore is 900 meters above the sea level. We get all fruits, vegetables. If you come near IHR, it is flooded with all these things. We don't have any problem to buy all these things. But I am telling you, in places where you know, suppose Saudi Arabia is there, Chennai is there, or where you cannot grow vegetables. You will have to use this value chain and put your niche market over there. This is what I'm saying. Okay, next pickles and chutneys. Oh my God! Earlier I was hearing only of mango pickle. Today it is not only mango pickle, mango toku, and a plethora of so many value-added products. You name it. If you 
come to my house dhan lakshmi i can show you once in my room i have i have dumped around 20 25 different pickles and my wife was saying for a single man to live do you require so much of variety i said no no come on variety is the spice of life don't tell me like that so many things can be done and uh, obviously you know uh, preparing this uh, potato tapioca flour you know people coming from trivandrum tapioca sabudana all those things are value added products uh, one should really see i am telling you if you uh, are regarding what is it please or a tapioca flour uh, prepare sabudana they are not rocket science come on don't tell me that to do sabudana and do all these things you should take special training in sifet ludhiana are yaar today with all fpvs we are training them and even in ihr we train people on so many small small value added technologies then uh, banana chips of course you see you find it in all the corners of bangalore and uh, it may be nendra bale to any bale uh, you uh, of course i have some kerala friends so i keep using them and saying kindly bring me the nendran chips uh, you know deep fried in uh, coconut oil so we want that and uh, i think we can do it here also not a big issue so this sort of value addition can also get you more income for you guys and then um, mushrooms i told you ih has come out of the vitamin d fortified the enriched see we you know a lot of these children what they do even my daughter does this she uh, she sits inside the room and not exposed to sunlight she has got vitamin d deficiency so i wanted to very seriously give her this uh, fortified mushroom and that is the problem with all the city children who are always sitting in the rooms they will have vitamin d deficiency we have come out of the mushroom bio fortified with vitamin d you can contact dr chandrashekar i'll be giving his number then fruit toffees and bars earlier what we were eating was only this cadbury's chocolate everything was looking brown Today I am having a papaya t- toffee. I am having a banana toffee, pineapple. T- See, uh, recently in IHS, yesterday is then the Na- National Horticulture Fair. You know, people have used even beetle leaves, and of course, even earlier also, pan pasan. You know, when small chocolate is to come, which was tasting like uh, pan bida. See, now you know they have put all this. Uh, See, who, who will who, uh, you know who is going to chew all that pan and uh, uh, masala pan? So all that is converted in a toffee. After food, simply put one uh, pan toffee in your mouth, and your digestion is absolutely brilliant. And uh, you know why people are eating this um, pan bida was? You know it also reduces your sugar. See, after having a very heavy meal of uh, all very high glycemic foods, pie some, pala pie some, and so on, you had to have a big pan so that you know it reduces your sugar. That was actually uh, the very scientific rationale. of how these fruits and toffee bars with good shelf life taste and the texture occurred see even you know when you take banana in see when i was a young uh, child and i told you uh, my forefathers they all belong to this mantralaya mat the present swami is my cousin brother so my grandmother used to give me a lot of this uh, banana panchamritam you know yeah. so i was i was still telling why uh, granny is calling me and giving it you have one full glance of panchamritam all your gas is gone no gas a uh, highly enriched food you don't feel hungry for at the, for the next two and a half hours so many times when i take an exam or give a lecture i don't eat very heavily so i take on panchamritam so like that uh, these are all value added products see come on if you want to take panchamritam you don't get it in any swiggy or zomato you have to go to a raghavendra swami mat <laughs> So suppose you want the chakra pongali coming from that uh, triplicate in uh, the what is it Venu Gopal Swami Temple? You can't go there. These are all the value-added products. Idea is already there, but how you establish a supply chain and market it and push it? Come on, if uh, you know Venu Gopal Swami Temple uh, chakra pongal is uh, you know available, I would have really loved to eat it. Every day I wanted to have this uh, temple and festival atmosphere at home. So this is how we, you know we use this uh, value addition for income. See now, I think most of the Tamilians know about that uh, Sankranti, Pongal. See, Pongal is prepared. I think uh, the Dhanlakshmi will correct me. I may be wrong. 
See, they use a sugar cane juice, fresh fresh rice, fresh uh, you know green gram, and uh, you know they put a lot of kaju sugar, and that is how the fresh pongal is made. Today, you know, we have a kara pongal, we have a sweet chakra pongal. Both are available in many of the hotels. So, why can't this become a value addition to prepare pongal? Is it such a big rocket science that you have to go to IIT Chennai and get yourself trained? Come on, it is not such a thing. Okay, so tutti frutti coming from papaya, and then you can also use, you know, especially I was eating a lot of ice creams, lot of this tutti frutti, then you know, apple pieces, banana pieces. You see this uh, Baskin Robbins, Amul, Kulfi. All are not today only ice creams. They will have some fruit component into it. That is how you know. You see the present day ice cream, and uh, I think before Baskin Robbins came, okay, ice creams are all plain. All that you you and me would have eaten as a child was the maximum. Uh, we have eaten vanilla ice cream, and uh, I used to eat one tutti frutti. I never heard of this. Uh, what is it by this um, Kasata? I, I never heard when I was a kid. And then there was another one. What is it? Even black for these are also flavors. There's one more. I'm just forgetting the ice cream. So like that today, lot of uh, value-added products have been coming. Okay, and the people should uh, learn how to do this and improve their incomes. So it is not really out of place. Tomato products. You can either prepare puri for. Uh, are you are can't you see i went to dharmapuri district i was somewhere near that papar patti you know i went to that uh, processing unit long back he was telling sir i am having a mango processing unit and i said are you are already you have a processing unit you have a crusher then uh, then i said why don't you process tomatoes why don't you process guava enada or koya process panittu or guava juice pandradhukku avula periya vishayam i asked him Sir, other where is the where? Sir, yar da solo da the where? Only you have to change the blade. You have to change some machine. You can make it adaptable. Any small uh, engineer would have done it for you. So that is how we can come out with a, a diversified product, both export and imported. Uh, okay, then minimally processed products. See, especially on the jackfruit front, uh, IHR has come out with a lot of jackfruit products. jackfruit candy jackfruit ice cream jackfruit chocolate we call it a jackolate oh my god uh, especially jackfruit dehydrated pieces simply put it in a you won't believe you know i went to the recently i was eating food in one of the uh, raghavendra swami mat they have prepared you know this um, a recipe out of gra- grapes i got i got Normally, pineapple goju is made, but they are now preparing goju with grapes also. Black seedless grapes have been used. So I said, "See, come on, whenever." Excuse me, sir. Ah, Krishna, pay it off. Ah, all the program I do, I do on the class to what I did. I'm in matter. Okay. Yeah, now we can unmute me. Yeah. Unmute. Okay, I'm sorry. I suddenly got it. So, it's okay, sir. It's yeah. So therefore, there are so many minimal carrot discs. Is there garlic? Are you seeing this garlic fellows who sell on the street? They say you know one fifty rupees one kilo. Sometimes it's trap. To prepare garlic cloves out of garlic, is it such a rocket science that you cannot add value? Simply remove all that. Uh, you know, D has called that garlic. Pack it neatly. Reduce the temperature. You will get minimum three hundred to four hundred rupees. Jackfruit pieces. I told you cucumber slices on the big area. Orange segments. See all this. You know why it has come. See, come on. I wanted to eat orange. Of course. Uh, see, I, I I hate that. You know, peeling that orange. Then I'll put it in my mouth, and then all the seeds I have to throw it out. For that, I have to keep another one uh, small bowl. Even Sita fall, I am a uh, Sita fall lover, but no bloody fellow is there who can process it it's because eating Sita fall, except our Arka Sahan variety, where you know what I do is I take a spoon and simply scoop that Arka Sahan because it has got less seeds. See this uh, Anona milkshake, you know Sita fall milkshake is a very 
easy process there is a machine people do it how they remove the seeds you go and ask them yeah. it is a small technique removing the seeds of sitafal and giving you sitafal milkshake you know how much it costs 95 rupees sitafal milkshake for just a 250 ml glass i are yaar if i give you all our arkas and varieties such 95 rupees you will get 10 glasses for 1 kilo so therefore what i'm saying is there's a lot of money people have not see especially eating sitafal milkshake avocado milkshake is quite simple sitafal milkshake is in very high demand it's a seasonal fruit but you know processing that again it becomes black or it becomes uh, slimy and yellowish so therefore these are all some of the post harvest value addition things see most of the things which i've eaten i'm telling you out of my experience see i'm fed up with only uh, you know grape juice mosambi juice you go to any fruit shop any japa ayo sir grape juice ide mosambi juice orange juice also it does not because processing orange is a bit difficult so therefore uh, these minimally processed products okay then dehydrated products pickle okay all the, these are all you know very high pungent uh, chilies cashew processing so now you will get the shock of your life see i think many of you don't know that badam is cheaper and cashew is costlier this is number one second thing is salted ca- cashew is there okay then you know you have that pepper salted uh, cashew and the chili uh, salted pa- cashew three variants it comes you know how much is 100 gram any guess minimum 300 to 400 rupees what is the big value addition see the, the ca- cashew is like this you have to heat it and then you have to remove this uh, this one it will you will get a cashew so today you won't believe you go to any sweet shop kanti sweets i go that is very near my house kaju is one item which is over my goodness i i think people are eating lot of uh, salted kaju then my wife said why don't you bring uh, kaju i will prepare it for you the raw kaju is at least about 600 rupees a kilo but you know if i pay 600 outside i get only 250 or 300 grams then i said uh, i asked my wife uh, are why this is so costly like that she told preparing kaju with different three masalas is a hell of a lot of a task therefore that fellow takes more money did you understand see it is something like you know some of my uh, non vegetarian friends you know they used to go to their village so some aunt or somebody used to be there they will take uh, one uh, chicken or uh, one hen or a broiler or something then they'll say akka please uh, i i wanted to see you they did not come to see akka over there they want her to cook that uh, hen or uh, chicken or broiler because you know processing that hen or chicken and making it into small pieces that's a hell of a lot of task see today you get uh, broiler chicken process the chicken that's costly so everybody wants to save money by telling that she is my akka she is my atta hey, why are you doing all that you say dressed chicken dressed meat okay so then you know beef also comes in cuts then you know the shawan shawan means that uh, goat meat beautifully cut ready to process simply all that the housewife has to do is simply put her uh, pan and start frying and even you know you have the meat masalas ready so it is a, it will say highly pungent masala all our processed products value added products definitely to do all these things you don't require rocket science then um, people are coming with natural vinegars i i in, from grapes you can do it single cell proteins oils and all your resins coming from chili and other things see now you really don't require to grind a chili powder See, of course when you do pickling i think uh, dan lakshmi and others will agree see we have got this uh, avocado uh, masala we have got so many uh, masala you know this uh, appe midi masala each and every pickle comes with different masalas now all the all your resins are already extracted and put like this please see here all your resin means these are nothing but the chili extract okay capsaicin so natural color vinegars so you can prepare it in no time so nobody will start grinding the masala and uh, waste their time otherwise you know from the kitchen a factory sort of sound comes because uh, the house have to grind about 3 to 
masala has to prepare your uh, kichdi or a curry or something today you come to any housewives you come to my house the kitchen is so beautifully arranged it has all flavors like this okay it has got a, a soya sauce it has got a chili sauce it has got a all your resin things and then you know you want some nimbu you put some citric acid oh my god uh, really my wife is preparing food very fast so because of this value added sophisticated technologies now sir uh, sorry to interrupt you if you can quickly finish i'll take yeah, a phone yeah, yeah, to the last slide okay. Okay. Yeah. okay okay so friends anyway because uh, thanks that uh, dan lakshmi just uh, reminded me see today's problem this is the last slide today's problem is why the income does not come to the producer this is the million dollar question we started because it is a fragmented value chain because the producer is different okay the input giver is a different fellow the processor is a different fellow the distributor is different wholesaler is different retailer is different consumer is somebody who is other than each one is acting very independently therefore if you have a very good value chain and a supply chain okay we want the producer to at least make 70 paisa of the consumer rupee this is what we want to and i am not against all these different roles okay ultimately these roles had to be played by somebody see there was one uh, uh, dan lakshmi ji who was that one for one actor was there in tamil he will uh, he is a producer director music director one man he was he used to have a big daddy i forgot his name yeah he will do all the roles himself except heroine he will do all the roles <laughs> i, I okay. don't know that man's name he is a his son also is an actor he is a very brilliant uh-huh. actor so therefore to conclude very quickly <coughs> anybody suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7th uh, is the consumer role six roles if it is played by only one fellow he can save money and increase the income i am forgetting that uh, man's name he was a drummer also i forgot anyway so friends i will just now stop sharing the screen take a few questions and let us see in the discussion course of discussion how the six roles i put 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 how the six roles a single fpo or a farmer can play so with this question to you i will stop sharing my screen and then we will open for discussion thank you very much uh, thank you very much sir for an uh, wonderful presentation i will take up the questions from the participants since we are running out of time i will take few questions sir okay the first question is what are the key factors to consider when deciding which value addition ventures to pursue yeah obviously see the basic paradigm is we go with the kotler's uh, price place product and promotion so of the most what the farmer can do uh, in an fpo he can you know uh, that uh, location specificity instead of uh, selling it in dindigal he can come to chennai and sell so if he has to come to chennai and sell and he will have a location value chain so to do that he has to not invest money he has to have some network and friends and do it similarly in the product front instead of uh, selling uh, raw chilli you can dry it and convert to chilli powder and call yourself as argmark uh, mdh masala you can sell it in some murugan brand masala so that is the product value chain then a little bit of promotion and marketing you can establish through mobile apps and then you know you can aggregate all your demands and that sort of market intelligence you can do place i told you price also see you can competitively price it see suppose you know if the retailer is charging 10 rupees and if i get a product from chennai for 9 rupees including postage i think i'll definitely buy this okay uh, what role can uh, agri entrepreneurs play in facilitating value addition initiatives and connecting farmers with markets yeah see now i have got so many incubators at ihr i have some 300 incubators most of them are engineers they have come into horticulture and agriculture value chain 
See now, what that you see, everybody when they establish an entrepreneurship or a startup or anything, they will look for their business interest. So what they are presently doing is they are using all these farmer producer organization, the CBB was the cluster based business organization, as only sourcing their material. For example, raw chili is purchased from these people, but uh, these uh, entrepreneurs are converting them to chili powder, packing, branding, pushing it. But definitely that amount of profit what he is making, he is not pushing it to the farmers or the FPOs. So therefore, the question what you have asked is, we want the FPOs and farmers to take up this entrepreneur role also. It is not out of place. See, we don't want, uh, see now in the Agri Infrastructure Fund and the ACABC centers, Agri Clinic and Agri Business Centers, we want our BSAG people or our farmers' children only to take it. We don't want all these uh, engineers who are otherwise supposed to become software engineers coming into this hearty agri field and then eating away the chances of our farmers. So this is a harsh reality. Okay. Are there any government policies or programs in place to support value addition in agriculture and how effective have they been? Fine. See, in fact, uh, that was coming up after some 10, 15 slides, it's all right. Very quickly, I'll tell see the present government has come out with an agri infrastructure fund. Five crores at 3% interest, a medium turnaround of seven years. So it is creating warehouses, it is creating coal chains. It is all done through the farmers and women farmers. So that is one government scheme. And if you come, if you simply click MIDH, Mission on Integrated Development of Horticulture or Agriculture, You've got so much agri infrastructure fund, agri dairy fund, then Matsya Sampada Yojana, okay, Atmanirbhar Bharat. So there are a plethora of schemes and the money has been released in, uh, to a tune of 3,000 crores at the rate of 3% interest, very nominal interest for farmers and FPOs. And you know, the ecosystem is already in place and people are taking advantage of it. And that is one uh, step forward in the Atmanirbhar Bharat. Okay. How can Agri University support farmers in learning about and implementing value addition practices? Yeah, see, now we have about 75 Agri Universities. We have 120 ICR Institutes. Okay, and then we have got some central universities. That is our whole Agri University Education Extension System. See, now each and every university has got a BPD, Business Planning and Development Unit, and they are also having this Okay, all these incubation centers, we say agri incubation or horticulture incubation centers, AI idea and so on and so forth. So what they do is they do this ideation, okay, incubation, acceleration and diversification. They, they are calling people, they are calling entrepreneurs, writing their DPR, detailed project report, pitching them for funding through the various banks, getting them all these loans at 3% or whatever, whatever interest rates. And then, you know, establishing a small pilot scale unit, hand holding. And then, you know, after that, uh, small pilot scale marketing and value chain is established. And then afterwards, they are allowed to accelerate to the next level. This is how already this is in place. And in IHR, at least I can show you, I have more than 3,000 entrepreneurs whom we have given license. And the license will be renewed every two to two and a half years. Okay, based on the quality uh, maintenance they have to do. And based on that, already even agri universities are already doing this job. Okay. Uh, sir, we have uh, one of our uh, member, Mr. Joseph Brito, who has uh, logged in in our Zoom. Uh, Mr. Brito, if you have any question, you can ask. Yeah, Brito, please feel free. And then, in fact, yeah. you, can, you would have come to IAHR. We'll meet you once at here, IAHR. Over to Joseph Brito, please. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Raghavendra, Jay Raghavendra, and uh, Dhanalakshmi, ma'am. Uh, what a wonderful uh, uh, session, Dr. <laughs> Raghavan. Fantastic yeah. session. You have covered every aspect. I think the actor you are re referring to was probably Vikram. Oh, Tamil what actor. is his name? That man, that daddy wala, Tamil fellow. Vikram. <laughs> Not Vikram, Baba. That, uh, he, he is an actor, director. He is a music director. He will have I a see. very big beard, that fellow. Mm. Oh, it is yes, it does, sir. No, 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 no. But no, no, actor, no. no. Like our actor, he will have a very big beard. 
లైక్ అవర్ రాజేష్ ఖన్న యాక్టర్ డైరెక్టర్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ సింగర్ హి వాస్ నాట్ ఎ హిట్ హీరో బట్ దట్ ఫర్ దస్ ఆల్ ది రోల్స్ ఎక్సెప్ట్ హీరోయిన్ హి విల్ డు ఆల్ ది రోల్స్ ఐ యామ్ నాట్ ఫర్ నాట్ ఫర్గెటింగ్ హిస్ నేమ్ ఎనీవే జోసఫ్ వై ఐ గివ్ దట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇస్ యా రియల్లీ ఇట్స్ ఎ కరెక్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యా సో యా ప్లీజ్ బ్రిటో యు కెన్ ఆస్క్ क्वेश्चंस నౌ యా సో uh uh what do you think are the easiest top 3 or 4 crops which uh, ordinary farmer can go uh, grow and get best value addition in your in your wide experience yeah, yeah, for see, a simple now, uh, see yeah. i have been i have been an agri scientist for the past 35 years i was yes. a banker myself i was a gramin bank manager vijaya bank manager then i yes. came into this agri system i uh, have a phd from iri and all that anyway so with all these experience what i wish to say is spice yes. industry animal spice you know there are so many spices coming from the animal sector recently yes. i conducted one uh, value addition opportunities for the spice entrepreneurs of india this was a collaborative program with manage see you know people are extract you know especially the, the, when you take the non vegetarian meal people want a fish extract just like you have beef extract uh, you know people want these sort of spices and all that that is missing yes. and even our own spices also simple uh, preservation drying and shade drying and powdering there are not yes. many people to do it and you have to depend on the mdh masala and you know so many other brands they are making more than 500% profit in the spices see you should come out of all this paddy and all this you know i don't say they are nonsense i should not say they are actually our staple crops you have to come with horticulture you have to come with spices you know i have iasr calicut uh, by any chance i think joseph brito may be a carolite okay i have thankamani who was the director of indian industrial spice research is my classmate so lot of such value added products oh my god and many people don't know that cardamom everything is extracted and then given to you that white card <laughs> yes sir yes, so therefore and come on you know jackfruit i can show you thousands of products see people are afraid to come into this unconventional product especially minor fruits minor millets see now to, uh, this year is called the year of minor millets now only people are yes. coming with that navane and uh, all those things yes. these, these all these things are having low glycemic index so yes. therefore the future of the whole entrepreneurship will go on anti diabetic foods low glycemic foods okay insulin uh, complementing foods okay whatever whatever it may be a small size is jambolina whatever whatever so people are also looking at the bio fortified i told you the iron one which i gave you the experiment and like yes. that so adding some medicinal value adding some fortified value through spices you know there is a one pachakarpura you know when you take this laddus from uh, trishur or tirupati laddus they add this pachakarpura it actually a root extract you know i was asking my uh, grandfather and others uh, tata tata why do they add all this pachakarpuram in all this venugopal swami temple they told you idiot it will reduce the sugar value so therefore if we eat tirupati laddu uh, instead of eating normal laddu 200 grams eat tirupati laddu 200 grams you will not, your sugar level will not increase so my father was a chemical engineering professor he used to say the levo sugar and the dextro sugar he used to conduct experiment he was a professor at iac bangalore so he told the levo sugar that means when the ray of light is passed to the c6h12o6 the sugar molecule when it takes a left turn it won't come in the blood when it dextro sugar when it takes a right turn that sugar is shown in the blood see they like that there are so many glyc- uh, glycemic foods uh, medically things uh, cure for cancer come to the cortical ra vaidyashala you can integrate all that in the new entrepreneurship and then these are all the value addition opportunities thank you very nice sir yeah. i think it was rajnikanth no not rajnikanth sir wait one minute <laughs> no 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 this fellow is a dadi wala not one minute you just be on the line although dhanlakshmi will beat me but uh, ajit no 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 i'll tell you one minute he is ayyo such a important guy okay tamil hero one minute tamil hero director actor kamal hasan no 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 director actor music director 
He was also a drummer. I forgot his name. Music director. Okay, yo. Yo, Rama. I'll tell you, sir, later. Yeah. He will have a very big daddy, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. One minute. Oh, one minute later. Yo, Rama. When it wants, it won't come. Hmm. He will always sport a very huge daddy, sir. Okay. Uh, I have I not seen many. That fellow. Mm. I used to tease him and say that this fellow, except heroine, he will do all the other roles. We used to make fun of him. I'll tell you. You call me anyway. My number is there. Yeah, I please know. share your number. I have not got your number. Yeah, I, you take down my number nine double four. Nine double four. Double zero. Double zero three four three four eight four five eight four five. Yeah, I will yeah. tell you because now we are in a online yes, yes, session yes. and we should not yeah. waste the time yes, of yes. the information. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. Your, that fellow, uh, uh, your, he is a very famous. Always he will have a big beard. He is very jet black in color. Music director, come actor, come script writer, come uh, hero. Except hero, and that fellow will do everything. Nice. <laughs> So I will certainly be in touch with you, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. And uh, you, I saw two or three of his movies. I got although that fellow is not so good looking. I was wondering oh. that this fellow should be a real value-adding fellow. He does all the six <laughs> roles himself, except the heroine. Okay. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, so thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you. So, so if you do one thing, you yeah. ping me and say hi. I will get you his name. Then you can share thank it you. with Dhanlakshmi also. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, you see. Uh, we uh, today we used Dhan Lakshmi's name uh, without her consent. Anyway, it was all in the game, and then uh, we'll again meet, madam. Thank you. So, okay, no problem, sir. Thank you very much, thank sir. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This meeting will now be closed. Yeah.